In travel news, for June 15th, 2022, we talk about the new owner of the Crystal Endeavor, American Airlines' new fare, and we have more updates on the Spirit Airlines merger. But first, I'm Brandon with the Adept Traveler, and this is Today in Travel. To stay updated on travel news, tips, tricks, and other insights, which will help you to travel like an adept traveler, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We regularly release new videos to keep you up to date on all things travel. After the surprising and sudden collapse of Crystal Cruises earlier this year, their fleet has been put up for auction. Many industry insiders are reporting that the Crystal Endeavor, a luxury 200-passenger vessel, has been acquired by Silver Sea Cruises. The Endeavor is a relatively new ship, entering service in summer of 2021 and having suspended operations in January due to Crystal Cruises' liquidation. Silver Sea is owned by the Royal Caribbean Group. While many cruise lines prefer to custom build their small ship fleets to meet the unique itineraries, Purchasing former Crystal ships adds capacity quickly, especially when travel demand is high. Silver Sea has not publicly commented on the rumor. American Airlines is offering a new fare called Flagship First Business Plus. The new fare offers all the standard in-flight business class services, but has a little something extra. Those that purchase this new fare will have access to some first class airport offerings, such as expedited security screenings, access to flagship first private check-ins, dining in Americans' flagship lounges, and a third checked bag. Flagship first offerings are available in a limited number of cities, such as London, Chicago, Los Angeles, New York, Miami, and a few others. The new fare will fill the void between business class and first class service. In an update on the acquisition of Spirit Airlines, it was recently released that Spirit is holding discussions with JetBlue over their June 6th offer. Spirit is continuing to work with Frontier Airlines under the terms of their existing merger agreement. Previously, JetBlue offered a superior all-cash offer which was rejected due to concerns over JetBlue's Northeast alliance with American Airlines. After the rejection, JetBlue proceeded with a hostile takeover. Later, JetBlue made a slightly better offer before Spirit's stockholders were to vote on the Frontier merger, forcing Spirit to push the date of the vote from June 10th to June 30th. We will share more information on this odd situation as it becomes available. Today in Travel is brought to you by The Adept Traveler, a travel agency that specializes in accessible travel. Our goal is to help all travelers, from the novice to the expert, from the able-bodied to the disabled to travel well. Until next time, travel well, my friends. Mm -hmm.